welcome to PlayPianoToday.com. In this lesson, combining slash chords and straddles to make major nine chords. Today we're going to combine a couple different techniques from previous lessons to create something totally new. Specifically, we'll use the techniques of slash chords and straddles, both from previous lessons, to create lush, delicious major nine voicings up and down the keyboard. This is so much fun. Let's check it out. Major seven chords are really clean sounding chords. As opposed to dominant seven chords which are used in the blues. Those chords are a little more gritty, but major seven chords, they impart such a sweet sound, like something you might want to hear in the morning. If you woke up to an alarm clock that was full of dominant seven chords, you might hit somebody. But uh, major seven chords would wake you up gently. And in the right circumstances, again, they are fantastic chords to just impart a real open sound. Let's take a closer look at the major seven chord. Just for review, let's take a look at a major seven chord in the classic closed position that you'll see in most textbooks. There's D major seven, D, F sharp, A, and C sharp. Now I'm going to assume that you've already gone through the original course titled Pattern, Piano, and Keyboard as found at playpianotoday.com. In that course, one of the things you'll learn is how to construct every conceivable type of seventh chord, including the major seven chord we're looking at today. Remember, in this lesson, we're going to apply two different techniques from previous lessons to this major seven chord, the slash chord technique and then the straddle technique. First, let's take a look at the slash chord technique as applied to the D major 7 chord. To transform a D major 7 chord into its slash chord equivalent, the rule is real simple. You simply play the root with your left hand, then count up a fifth, and build a major triad, or A major. All of a sudden, instead of D major 7, you have something more than you started with. You actually have D major 9. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That E is thrown in there, but you didn't have to think about that. You simply play the root with your left hand, and then mentally you count it up five notes in the scale of D, which is really important, and you build a major triad. All of a sudden you have a nice slash chord, A over D. In fact, that's how it's written, A slash D. Now just a second ago I said, kind of under my breath, in the scale of D. You've got to count up. When you count up five notes, you can't just count any five notes. You can't say one, two, three, four, five, right? Or one, two, three, four, five. There are some absolutes in this world, and one of them is when you're building slash chords, you've got to count up five notes in the scale of the root, which begs the question, how do you know what are the first five notes of any scale? Well, I'm so glad you asked. There's a great course that'll answer that question at playpianotoday.com. The course is called Pattern, Piano, and Keyboard. One of the primary things we go through in the first 20 minutes is the pattern that is based on those first five notes of any scale. And from that, you can build any major or minor triad, and then you can get into music right away. Now, let me give you another example of another major seven transformed into its slash chord equivalent. Okay, G is going to be our victim now. <laughs> G major seven. Okay, here's the rule. Play the root with your left hand, then go up a fifth in the scale of G, one, two, three, four, five, and build a major triad. Now you have D over G. Pretty simple, huh? All of a sudden, it's much more open. Again, you've got D over G. Let's do it over C. C major seven. Play the root with your left hand. Go up a fifth in the scale of C. That's a really easy thing to do, right? Mentally, you can go one, two, three, four, five, and land here and build a major triad. You've got G over C. Isn't that nice? So here's the chords we have now. We've got D, 
G, and C. And we're going to play a song with them. But first, I want to show you now the application of the straddle technique, which will really open this up all over the keyboard. Let's check that out. Using C major 7 as our example. Let's first change it into a slash chord and then use the straddle technique. So we go to the root, and then in the scale of whatever note that root is, we count up five notes, one, two, three, four, five, and build a major triad on whatever note that fifth note was, right? A G major triad. Okay, at this point we have the slash chord equivalent of C major 7. I think you're getting it. I'm driving it home. Now, at this point, I want you to back off, way off mentally. I don't want you to start thinking C major 9 or any of that nuclear physicist stuff. I want you to just concentrate on the G major triad. Because when the music is moving and grooving, you can't think of all that complex math. You want to think real simple basic building blocks so you can wrap your mind around it. The straddle technique is only going to deal with this right hand triad. Because this is just an overview of this entire lesson, we're going to jump ahead now, clear to the end of the lesson, to the section that comes after the point where we've studied all the details of how to get these slash chords and straddles up and down the keyboard, and we're ready to use them in the context of a song. But when I'm playing the major 7 chords, I'm going to try and be real specific. I'll flash on the screen the major 7 chord that I'm playing, as well as the slash chord equivalent that I'm playing the straddle technique up and down the keyboard over. Hope you enjoy it. Here it is. Danny boy Pipes, the pipes are calling you from glen to glen and down the mountainside. The summer's gone and all the flowers are dying. It's you, it's you must go and I must buy. But come ye back when summer's in the meadow. When the valley's hushed white with snow It's I'll be here in sunshine or in shadow oh, Danny boy, oh Danny boy, I love you so Well, I hope that inspires you to sit down at your keyboard and crank out some great major nine voicings by using slash chords and straddles together. And when you're done practicing, come and visit at playpianotoday.com. You'll find all kinds of musical goodies and things guaranteed to make you smile. Till then, this is David Sprunger. Thanks for listening. Go practice.